sport. A sharp reaction from a group of international students gathered on a wet Saturday morning to make their voices heard. The group is protesting the changes BC government announced earlier this week to its much sought after provincial nominee program for permanent residency. I've declined offers from New Zealand and offers from Ireland because at that time, BC, BC's policy was stated as international master students on the BCPNP list for IPG stream. They could directly apply for provincial nomination at that time. As of next year, master students in the STEM fields are no longer automatically eligible for the PNP program and instead need a year of full-time work experience before registering. The province says the changes are aimed at providing greater clarity of high standards needed to get an invite through the program. The published guidelines of who would be eligible to apply and be successful in the program were not reflective of the reality of who actually was getting a spot through the program. Applicants will soon have to demonstrate a greater level of English language proficiency. BC government says it's also an attempt to rein in the recruiters who misrepresent BC PNP as an easy pathway to permanent residency. But for the hopeful students, they say the changes are too sudden and completely discount those who are already studying in the province. For myself speaking, from preparation to application all the way up to graduation, it takes three plus years. And you can just not change it overnight. I think policy does not just pop up all of a sudden. There should be some process. But this, pro but this process should be released to everyone and we should know about the changes. The protesting students have started an online petition asking the BC government to offer some kind of transition period to students currently enrolled. The province says about 5% of post-graduation work permit holders in BC get invites for the PNP program's master graduate stream, with thousands more hoping to qualify and make BC their permanent home. Saurabh Sandhu, CBC News, Vancouver.